more problem. Find the volume of a solid whose base is the region bounded by the function y equals 3 minus x squared and the x-axis, and whose cross-sections perpendicular to the x-axis are squares. All right. So, volume whose base is the region bounded by the function 3 minus x squared and the x-axis. Let's go ahead and draw this out. This one should be reasonably straightforward. So 3 minus x squared, so we go 1, 2, up to 3. 3 minus x squared in the x-axis, and whose cross-sections perpendicular to the x-axis. Perpendicular to the x-axis, so we're going to be taking slices perpendicular to the x-axis. Okay, so this is the base, our squares. So when I take this slice out, turn it, it's a square. Okay, S and S. These points of intersection, by the way, negative rad 3 and rad 3. And if you're wondering where that came from, well, set this 3 minus x squared to 0. You're going to get x equals plus or minus rad 3. It's going to tell me what the zeros are, what the roots are of this equation. Well, the area is equal to side squared. Well, if this is x, I'm going to work in red. If this is my value of x, this is my value of y. Therefore, that is actually equal to y. Therefore, y is equal to 3 minus x squared. It's the function, the height of the square is 3 minus x squared. So my area, which is equal to s squared, is equal to 3 minus x squared squared. Therefore, the area is equal to 9 minus 6x squared plus x to the fourth. So our volume, well, we took the slice this way. We're going to be adding up all the volumes this way. So it's just equal to minus rad 3 to rad 3, 9, minus 6x squared, plus x to the fourth, dx. That's it. And I will leave the integration to you, whether you want to use your calculator or do it by hand. And that is all. Dealing with regions where the cross-section is not a circle, so there's no rotation, but we can still deal with it. Thank you so much for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.